Just a heads up, today is not a big release day for console mods. You've been warned. New and updated mods have been released on the in-game mod hub, and we've got 13 total to talk about today. For all platforms, we have one new, and PC and Mac, we have six new and six updates. I make mod review videos every time mods are released on the in-game mod hub, even when there's very few for all platforms, so get subscribed if you do, that way you never miss any. So, your one and only new mod for all platforms today is the Wholesale Market from Brummy Farmer. At this Wholesale Market, all grains and production items can be sold. Construction costs $95,000 for you. And well, that's about it. It is extremely simple, extremely, I mean, well put together, but look at this. The wholesale market notice, authorized employee parking here only. I'm gonna park all my vehicles right there just to make them mad. Regardless, this is, this is it. Uh, you go into your productions, go into selling points, and it'll be right here. Wholesale market. Now, making our way over to new mods for PC and Mac players, we have the Vistula KZB3. This is a brand new combine harvester for PC and Mac players. It's all your normal stuff. One of the neat things is you don't change headers on here, but it will do sunflowers and corn, which is kind of neat. Has 60 horsepower, a manual transmission. It has 100 liters of fuel. It has 11 mile per hour max speed at 1.5 meter, 1.5 meter, no, 1,500 liter capacity. Oof. And is a 4.4 tons. It actually doesn't say what the working width is on here. Very, very interesting. Uh, online, it looks like it's 3.7 meters. So yeah, also has a three mile per hour max working speed. You're not going quick. Wheel brands include Lizard, BKT, Trelleborg, back and forth between those. And we get a couple different options. Pick whatever you like, good to go. Additional covers, we have no, and yes, I'm gonna assume those are around the back side here. Nope. What are we covering up? Something way, way down in there. Almost a useless con config. Uh, we also have some stickers on here as well. You change them up between new and old. Uh, red, hope you like red. I'm not even gonna try. Uh, and then we've got some different colors here as well, which is nice. Um, but I have no idea what it's changing. Ah, the front. I was at the wrong position. I do apologize. And then we have rim colors, which are, well, rim colors. So there you go. The uh, Vestula KZB3. Next new one for PC and Mac players is going to be the front box and masses. So we have two different weights in here. So the first one is the Mass 600. Uh, we can also make this a three-point hitch. And we can make it a 900 kilogram front weight as well. You can change up those main colors. And then we have the front box, which can have the main color changed in ways 50 kilograms by itself pretty neat little set right here you can even open this box you throw a couple things in there if you really need to or want to and your next to last new one for pc and mac players i know we've only talked about uh three of them so far i'll explain this is real dirt particles uh this adds both dry and wet particle systems to the vehicle tires it works with the real dirt color and it's tested on dedicated servers as well this is a really cool mod and a great addition to the rdc mods and lastly this is going to be a new one real dirt color track so Real Dirt Color and Real Dirt Color Fix mods are required for this mod to work correctly, so it colors all vehicles, tire, and crawler tracks and smoke effects to match the dirt colors. Colors blend and wear off while driving, and colors also revert to normal as well. I thought this was something that was already out, but hey, whatever, it's all good. Uh, it is showing up at the end, so may have been an update, but... It's here. Hey, you may as well get it. This is cool. So I said it would be interesting. We had six new ones, but we only talked about four. That's because the production revamp basics and production revamp have been removed from the mod hub, preventing me from showing them to you. So just heads up, if you were able to get them, they were removed for unknown reasons. I, I will let you guys know as soon as I find out, um, but that probably won't be today. So just a heads up there. Hey, now, hey, if you know why they were removed, let us know in the comments. All right, let's make our way into mod updates for PC and Mac players. First one's going to be the Devran Chisel Pack from Devran Mining. It's going to be version 101. They've improved the textures. Next update is to third person for Viper GTS 96. going to be version 15. Dedicated server multiplayer rotation issues been fixed, and they fixed the FS22 1.4 problem. How's about an update to easy dev controls? That is right. Easy dev controls is back. Well, I say back. I deleted this, but um, now everything seems to be working just fine. So if you deleted this for whatever reason, go and redownload it. This is update version 
one one. They fixed a bug when loading a save game with easy development controls active was not possible if time was stopped when saving. That is the exact problem that I experienced. They also fixed a bug that stopped the production states from being changed via the placeable screen after using the reload feature. They corrected the foot measurement being incorrectly displayed when the value was less than one or greater than one for log links, Fahrenheit game setting users only. That would, well, be me. Remove the cotton palette from spawn list due to incompatibility. Shown the bell locations now incompatible with bailers and bell loaders using the base game specializations. Fixed the small bug fixes and made some improvements. Add a default user setting. XML default user setting will be loaded from this file in multiplayer and when starting a new single player game. We also have the XML file, which will be created at the loading game. So that's my games, Farming Simulator 22, Mod Settings, FS22, Easy Dev Controls. Also, they have added check friend. Russian, Polish, and Brazilian translations. Great update to Easy Dev Controls. Big shout out to GTX. Another great update to the Palette Auto Load Specialization. This is going to be version 173. Lua Trigger Error Soft causing an update for version 1.4 and the tension belt trigger has been reworked. Repair and paint settings have got an update. This is gonna be version one, uh, one? Yeah, there we go, one, one. Compatibility for version 1.4.1, Farm Sim 22. And lastly, today we have an update to Real Dirt Color. Love this mod, one of my favorites of all time. It's gonna be version 1.2.5. They fixed the independent wheel colors, now work for all clients multiplayer. Fixed the vehicle dirt colors, now synchronized for all clients when joining game and multiplayer. And note, the separate Real Dirt Color Tracks mod now works with independent wheel colors and multiplayer. Epic all around. Well, guys, there you go. That is it for today. Hope you enjoyed the mod video. I'm just going to do the ending screen here on the main screen of Farms of 22. If you didn't drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel. If you do, join the Go Ahead fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Speaking of those daily videos, you know what I'm going to say. Check out Farm Sim News from earlier today. We talked about the TLX 79. Ooh, new pickup truck made it to studio. I'll be said. Hope you have a good one. We'll see you later. Peace.